Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video. Today I am gonna show you more gift DIYs. It's been a little while since I did a gift DIY video, but I am so excited. I found some really cute ones. I have easier ones, but I also have a bit more difficult ones that you should put a little bit more effort into, but are so worth the effort. So without further ado, let's just get started. These are all from TikTok and I will link them down below so you can check them out as well. I'm gonna start with this one. It's kind of simple, then again, also not really but it's just very sweet and a very nice gesture for anyone really you can give it to a friend to a boyfriend or girlfriend whoever you would like and it's also teeny tiny that i don't know it just adds to the cuteness level you know I this next one honestly looks so cool, so I just had to include it. I don't know why, it just seems like a little bit complicated in some way, but then again, I don't really think it should be. It's just a really fun idea, and it seems so fun to make and to give and also to get. So, you know, you can't go wrong with this. Then this next one's not very complicated or hard, so this one's good for everyone, but it just is so precious. Like, oh my goodness. If you don't have a printer, you can like draw something. So simple, but so pretty and adorable then this next one is so simple but it's just so incredibly fun you do need a printer for this so you can print out the photos but this is just such a fun and random idea honestly it's so good I love this one. This next one takes a little bit more effort, but the idea is genius and so awesome. This person is making like a pizza box, but inside like the pizza slices, there are gifts and stuff. And I just thought this was so genius. Like just the pizza box and everything itself is so fun to make and to give. There's actually gifts in it as well. Sometimes a DIY is just a DIY and that is a present itself, but to make a DIY that contains actual other presents, perfect and the person you make this for i know they would appreciate it because who could not <laughs> maybe someone who doesn't like pizza but that's a different story you can make a cake you can make a pie then another one that's a little bit more simple i've shown diys like this in the past but they just don't get old and you can go so many ways with this and i just had to include it again in case you haven't seen my other videos personally i'm a big music fan if someone like would make a playlist for you or something and give it to you like this which is also just like a physical product so you can still like hold it or place it somewhere use it as decoration or something like i personally would love it and you as gift giver gift maker you don't even need a lot for this then we have another card diy type thing i thought this was so fun again you can just give this to anyone to your best friend to your parents or your sister or your boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever i would just personally just make this not even for some type of occasion i would just make this for fun to show someone that i appreciate them like it's just adorable and if you have nothing to do just go make this for people they'll really appreciate it this next one is also really really fun this but look at this this is so fun it's again a very simple gift that you don't need to spend a lot of money on which is always great i don't know just the idea it's so just ah it's so good it's really really good and honestly kind of funny i don't know why but it just makes me smile it makes me so happy to this one's amazing. I really like it. Oh my god, this next one is has oh, it's got to be one of my favorites from this video. It's so adorable. It's so good. Now I don't get how this works. Okay, I think I get it. I think I get it. Wait. So she has the painting, then on top she has a piece of foil with the outlines, and when she puts like in the card to get separated, and the outline stuff comes to the front and the painting is on the back. I think that's how it works. That is so genius. I love this one. It's precious. Okay, this next one. A little bit more complicated but i think if you know how to make those stars then this should not be a problem for me it just looks a little bit complicated like a lot of work i never make those paper stars but this one i love this so so much i love this like ah it just looks so awesome and if i would get this i would just all day be like doing this you know just looking at it i would just make this for myself honestly i would i totally would then we have another phone case type DIY. This one's a little bit different. This one you have matching phone cases, but the idea is just so fun. You can easily make this if you have some paint. You just have to buy the phone cases, but for the rest, so simple and so incredibly fun. It's like those PFF necklaces that we used to have when we were little, only now it's with phone cases. It's the same thing. <laughs> this next one, oh my god. I still don't get how people think of this kind of stuff. People are just so creative and I'm jealous. <laughs> this turned out so awesome. It's so cute and so pretty and I can't 
Look at it. It's just a tiny little bear with a little heart box with the little letters. It's so tiny again, but I feel like that also makes it more cuter. Something like this shouldn't be too big, you know what I mean? Oh, but it's so good. It seems a little complicated, but in the end, you don't have to do that much for it. Okay, this one again with the little tiny paper stars. It's so good. I would love to get this, honestly. To make it also seems really fun. This one's rather simple. You could even like place a little gift inside the stars, but still. And the little stars. People love to make the little stars, but they look so good. So I totally get it. <laughs> then this next one is also really fun. Now this person is making this whole drawing type thing, but you could also like print something out and like draw over it or something if you're not very good at drawing, or you could even print it, whatever you would like. But this idea is also really fun. I love it when people like make candy wrapping out of paper as a DIY with something inside, whether it's food or just sweet messages. I think that's so fun. I don't know why. I believe I show it a lot, but people do make it a lot as well. So, you know, but this is just cute. The kitty cat. <laughs> then this next one isn't really a gift per se, but you can do many types of things with it. You can use it for DOIs or it could just be the DOI, but I just wanted to show it to you. I just really wanted to because this is just really fun and I never really did origami or something like that, but this looks beautiful. And again, you just need these tiny little pieces of paper. You can make something really great with it. This next one again has the little dangly things at the top of the box and I don't know why I just love it so much. It looks so good. This is your typical type of present thing. It's a little bit more of an obvious type present but I just love it so much and you do need some more things than just paper for this one because of course you need to put something inside the box. You can put anything in a box. You could also make something and put that inside the box that you made. <laughs> this next one again with the candy type cookie wrapping thing made out of paper it's just fun and people apparently do it a lot and this one's actually as a gift to say i'm sorry which is also fun but of course you don't have to do it that way you could also just give it as a gift to show them that you appreciate them but it's so fun i do feel like there should be actual oreos in it instead of just the paper oreo just like with the cookie monster thing with the actual cookies inside but also the paper cookies like that is fun this next one's also so well thought like i would never <laughs> think of this type of thing but it's so fun it says free wishes so simple yet so adorable this is not your typical gift type thing that's why i love it so much like people don't really expect it like it just kind of takes you by surprise a gift like this and i love that kind of gift that makes it 10 times more fun Ooh, this next one again <laughs> candy type wrapping paper uh stuff this again looks like candy but it's actually made out of paper and it's not actual candy but it is is really cute. Look at it. It's adorable and it actually really looks like the candy but it looks so good with the little hearts on top of it and just the pastel colors and they made this really well. Now this next one seems a little bit harder but so worth it. Like it's so pretty. Multiple DIYs in one. Like I've never seen a DIY like this before and I love that so much about it. Just the little mirror inside with the ring and the little box itself and in the end she gives it to one of her friends. The friend really loves it. It makes me love it even more for some reason. I just like this one so much because it's so different and yet still really really fun. And that was the last DIY gift. I hope you liked it. I put every single one down in the description so you can check it out as well on TikTok and check out their other amazing DIY videos. But anyways, I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I hope I will see you in my next video.